Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dyer. Today we're going to see that Jesus prays for us. Our key verses today are taken from Hebrews chapter 7 verses 24 and 25. It says, But because Jesus lives forever, he has a permanent priesthood. Therefore he is able to save completely those who have come to God through him, because he always lives to intercede for them. Robert Mache once said, If I could hear Christ praying for me in the next room, I would not fear a million enemies. Yet distance makes no difference. He is praying for me. John 17 contains Jesus' final moments with his disciples before being arrested, and Jesus prays for them. We have been considering our prayer life over the past few weeks, but today I want us to reflect on the amazing thought that Christ is praying for us. Knowing that Jesus will be leaving his disciples soon, he knows praying for them is the best way to prepare them. He prays for three things on our behalf, protection, sanctification, and oneness. The early native Indians had unique practice for training their young men. On the night of the boy's 13th birthday, he was put to one final test. He'd already learned how to hunt, scout, and fish. He was placed in a dense forest and spent the entire night there alone. Until then, he had never been away from the security of his family or tribe. But on that night, he was blindfolded and taken seven miles away. When he took off the blindfold, he was in the middle of a thick black forest, and he was terrified. Every twig that snapped, he visualized maybe a wild animal ready to pounce on him and attack. After what would seem like an eternity, dawn would break and the first rays of sunlight would enter the forest. Looking around, the boy would see flowers, trees, and an outline of the path. Then, to his utter astonishment, he would see a figure of a man standing a few feet away, armed with a bow and arrow. It was his father, who had been looking after him the whole night. Jesus first prays for our protection. Of course, unlike our young boy, we have the benefit of knowing in advance that our father is there to protect us. Though just like our young boy, sometimes we don't always see him. Jesus asked the Father to protect us. He prays, Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they would be one as we are one. A little later he prays, I ask you to protect them from the evil one. Peterson translates the word protect as God. And this is a helpful way of seeing it, especially as we think of the Father watching over his child, his son, as he was in the forest when he thought he was alone. God is guarding us, protecting us. If you are feeling discouraged, hold on to this truth, that Christ Jesus died for us, was raised to life for us, and sits in a place of honour at God's right hand pleading for us. Romans 8 verse 34. Let's pray together. Our Father, we just thank you again for all that you've done for us. Father, we thank you for this wonderful truth that in your word that we see that Christ is there at your right hand praying, interceding for us. Father, we thank you for your grace which sustains us, which sanctifies us, which protects us and gives us oneness with you. Lord, help us to trust you, help us to um, rely on you more, to pray to you often, but we just thank you that you are always looking after us. Father, we thank you for all you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen.